Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of the Nintendo Switch's game announcements for the first week of August, so let's get started. In Metamorphosis, you play as Gregor, a man who's morphed into a tiny insect and set on an extraordinary journey. This first person adventure is set in a world where your newly found powers can get you in unexpected dangers from the perspective of a bug. Traverse challenging environmental puzzles and discover the world starting August 12th. Revealed during the Xbox Game Showcase, Fantasy Star Online 2 and New Genesis is set to release in Japan in 2021 via cloud streaming for the Switch. New Genesis aims to overhaul PS2 Classic's online MMORPG with a completely new graphical engine, a more open world with seamless exploration and a modern way to play with friends. Putting you in control of a super orbital recon fighter during the space colonization front, Red Out Space Assault has you outsmarting, outmaneuvering, overpowering, and outclassing your opponents in lightning fast, adrenaline inducing single and multiplayer space combat. Each pilot can turn the tide of war in the expansive single player story. Square Enix is rebranding the trading card game Dragon Quest Rivals Aces with new tons of exclusive content. Crossplay between PC, Switch, and mobile is being introduced, as well as an expansive solo adventure mode with new mechanics. Sadly, there's still no word on the potential Western release. Aiden Chronicles is an ode to classic JRPGs from the creators of Sakoden, offering high resolution 2.5D graphics baked into pixel art characters. Experience a story of war and friendship with a cast of over 100 unique heroes ready to join your adventure. The developers have confirmed that they would love to put this game on Nintendo's next-gen console, but if one is not available, the proper visual sacrifices will be made to get it to run on Switch. The eye-catching Little Devil Inside was recently re-revealed on the PlayStation 5 Showcase, and since then, their official website has been updated confirming a Switch release. Explore, discover, adapt, fight and survive across a hostile world full of wonder and darkness where something bigger and more dangerous is always lurking around the corner. The adventure puzzler Peaky Blinders Mastermind is based on the award-winning Netflix show. Set before the events of Season 1, follow the rise of Tommy as he successfully uncovers a sinister plot to put the family out of business. Each character has traits and abilities exclusive to them, and strategically utilizing stealth to solve puzzles is crucial to progress the story. Challenging players to constantly beat the clock, Speed 3 Grand Prix is a simple pick your car and make your way to the top across several seasons type of racer. With tracks spanning around the globe, play either alone or via local split screen multiplayer when it releases this winter. Jump into the free to play MMORPG action shooter featuring a roster of over 300 massive tanks and World of Tanks Blitz. Take on short, action-packed 7 vs 7 battles with real-time or alternative history behemoths, featuring rich progression system where customization is plentiful. The 2D side-scrolling pixel art action roguelike Dungreed has no checkpoints and it isn't interested in holding your hand. When you die, all of your gear is lost for good, forcing players to play carefully through procedurally generated maps as they attempt to not just amass riches but rebuild the town in the process. An early access version of Rugby Challenge 4 is out on Switch, where the developers are hoping to add more content down the line free of charge. Featuring full cross-platform support between Switch, PC, and Xbox, play across several world-renowned rugby leagues in both single-player and full multiplayer modes. Neko Goes Jump is a 2D 3D platformer where you switch between 2D and 3D camera perspectives and between the physical and the ghost form to solve puzzles, collect coins, battle enemies, and clear levels. If you care about the competitive aspects, leaderboards will also be offered for those who are interested. Inspired by classics like Overcooked and Unrailed, Shakes on a Plane challenges players to work together with the odds stacked against them while still encouraging coordination and teamwork in the open skies. Simple controls, easy to learn recipes, and fun with up to three other players is a driver in this time management party game. The Ambassador of Fractured Timelines is a twin-stick fantasy shooter centered around the ability to stop time. Gregor is learning how to use his newly found power to solve environmental challenges and make quick haste of his enemies. Traverse dimensions looking for better loot and discover the secrets of Tamaris starting August 13th. Offering a unique cyberpunk tale, Synergia is a visual novel where Sila, a veteran cop with a hardened heart, receives a new state-of-the-art house droid that's advanced enough to break through her shell, only for the mega corporation Velta Labs to catch wind of it and try to rip it away from her across a beautiful and vivid story. The adventure game based off the popular anime where you can learn to play shogi, the Ryu's work is never done, offers scenarios and voice acting from the anime, where taking each other on a shogi battle serves as the main gameplay mechanic. 
As a renowned mercenary tactician answered the Queen's call to save the kingdom and steam tactics, offering varied progression systems tackle any of its levels as you please in turn-based strategical RPG combat where challenges tailor itself to your playstyle. The coming-of-age adventure about family, friendship, love, and loss, and bracelet surrounds unraveling the mystery behind a bracelet that can affect the world around it. Steeped in old traditions, this folklorian Norwegian tale is launching in September. Sentinels of Freedom is a superhero adventure that lets you fight the forces of evil in your very own unique way. Create a hero, craft a backstory, personality, power source, and ability, then set out to stop supervillains and strategic action combat. The competitive party game for up to four players where food characters battle against each other in a wide variety of crazy modes, Ultra Food Mess, is the essence of messy food. Explore, shoot, swing, push, dodge, and destroy your enemies starting August 6th. Alphadia Genesis boasts a rich, complex story starring Frey, a member of the local guild attempting to mend the raging war of two nations invested in destroying each other, offering dynamic camera angles during action combat 3D battles. Compete with up to four players in a series of mini-games themed around food, harvest, cook and serve across a bevy of game modes in InstaChef Party. Select your avatar, pick a specialty and set off to challenge your friends or leaderboards to see who's the quickest and most professional chef. Evolving from the original and introducing new and even more challenging platforming speed goodness, Okunoka Madness is a sequel to Okunoka, built from the ground up for a tough as nail speedrunner's dream offering continuous challenges to keep moving forward to unlock a roster of new characters with new skills. Everything in Darkestville was fine and dandy as Sid kept tormenting the town people until one day someone dared to defy his treacherous reign in the adventure point and click game Darkestville. With the evil dragon Abigor coming back to life, the kingdom is tossed once again into chaos. Euron sets off to the capital hoping to find heroes to help him and take down this new menace in the pixel art RPG Liege Dragon. Take on vast armies of soldiers, robots, spaceships, traps, and bosses, and Destructivator 2. Simplifying gameplay across 54 levels in classic 90s shoot 'em up style, make use of quick save features to snap back into the action this winter. Speedlinks is a chaotic action arcade game for up to 4 players, where the goal is simple, get rid of all the bouncing bubbles around the screen. Play over 100 levels with tons of unlockable skins when it releases on August 4th. In a future Earth that's become so uninhabitable and food is so scarce that most humanity has perished, take the role of a seed attempting to restore hope by cultivating plants that will survive through the rough environments across 70 or so levels in 112 seed. And that's what the game announcements will be covering this week. I recently put out a feature video where I break down why console sales matter much more than we like to think. And that's the first in my new line of closer look video series where I'll be doing some essay form content with perspectives not often discussed in gaming. If you have the chance, I would love to get some feedback. So with all that said, as per always, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate the support and be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. See ya!